Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about the fuzzy matcher. This is one more unique feature which is provided by the Karate framework and using this feature, you can make your validation more flexible. For example, in a scenario, my only concern is the property should be the part of the response irrespective whatever the value of that property. So in such cases, you can take the help of fuzzy matcher that will give you more flexibility for the validation. So these are the fuzzy matcher which is provided by the Karate framework. The syntax of the fuzzy matcher is pound key followed by the keyword. Now out of all these fuzzy matchers, there are some which are going to work with both JSON as well as XML, but there are some which are going to work only with the JSON. For example, these two. So if I want to make sure that a property should be the part of the response and its value should be not null, I can use this fuzzy matcher. If I want to make sure that the property should be the part of the response, irrespective whatever the value of that property, I can use this fuzzy matcher. That will include both null and not null value. If I want to make sure that a property type is an array, I can use this fuzzy matcher. In some cases, you might need to validate the value type of a property. In that case, you can use this fuzzy matcher that will validate the value type. So let me show you this with an example. So first of all, let me create the duplicate copy of this scenario and let me call it as to get the data in the JSON format and validate using fuzzy matcher. I want to make sure that the job ID should be present in the response. So for that, I'm going to use this fuzzy matcher. Make sure you use open and close single quote to specify the fuzzy matcher. So this will make sure that the job ID should be the part of response irrespective of its value, including null and not null. And if I want to validate on the not null, I will use this fuzzy matcher. If I want to ignore any property, I can use this fuzzy matcher. We know that the technology is an array. If I want to validate that, I can use this fuzzy matcher. So let's say I want to validate the value type of the job title property. In that case, I can write the expression as match response dot index zero dot job title. and the value type should be of string. So I will use this fuzzy matcher. In this similar manner, I can add the validation on the value type of the job ID, which is integer in our case. So this is number. And let me go ahead and run this runner. So our scenario is passing. Let me just modify this to null. And in this case, our scenario will fail. From the exception, we clearly understand that it's a not null value. In this similar manner, you can apply the fuzzy matcher to the response, which is in XML format. So let me go ahead and create a duplicate copy of this scenario. So for the job ID, I can use the fuzzy matcher as not null. For the job title, the value type should be a string. So for this property, I'm going to use this fuzzy matcher that will make sure that it's an array. And this one I can use as present. For this one, I will just ignore the validation. So in this case, this scenario will fail because this particular fuzzy matcher will work only with the JSON response. So let me go ahead and run the runner. So 
so you can see here our scenario is failing and it clearly says that it is not an array or a list so this fuzzy matcher can only be used with the json array not with the xml So in this manner, you can add the validation using the fuzzy matchers.